If we have an array or a list of objects, we can traverse it to find the nearest object to a certain target. I can show you how to do it, but you'll have to give me a minute to prepare all we need. First, let's create a sphere and a material with a color to assign to it. Select the sphere and create a tag for it or use an existing one. Create an empty parent for this sphere and all the others that we are going to create in a moment. The parent is just to keep the hierarchy organized. I will duplicate with Ctrl D the original sphere to create all the others. So here we have a bunch of objects with a certain tag assigned. Let's create another sphere with a different color to use as a target. Create a new script and an empty game object to assign it, otherwise the script won't be executed no matter how hard we try. Inside the script, define a game object for the target object, define also an array of game objects, and in the start function, initialize this array by finding all the game objects with the tag you assigned. This would be the instruction for that. Careful with the S. In Unity, drag the target object to the inspector variable and press play to make sure that the instruction in the start function is working. And we are indeed finding all the objects by tag. So that would be all we need. Consider subscribing before we start. An algorithm to find the nearest object from a list to a target object could be something like this. Assume the first object is the nearest one. Traverse the list measuring the distance between the target and every object on the list and comparing that distance to the distance between the target and the nearest object so far. If the first distance is smaller, replace the nearest object with that object from the list. More or less like that, we can implement this algorithm in many different ways. I'm going to do it in the update function so that every frame we are recalculating the nearest object and I'm going to do it like this. Define a local game object type variable to store the nearest object and assign the first object of the array in that variable. Define a local float variable and assign the distance between the target and that object. Video in the corner with more information on this vector3.distance function. Define a for loop that starts in the second element and goes to the last element on the list. Inside the loop, define a local variable and initialize it with the distance between the target and the object you are analyzing in the loop. If that distance is less than the distance of the current nearest object, replace the nearest object with the current object on the list, and also replace the distance of the nearest object. That would be all. At the end of the loop, in this variable we have the nearest object, and we can do whatever we want. For example, to achieve the result I show at the beginning of the video, I first traverse the entire array of game objects, normalizing the scale of each one, and then change the scale of the nearest object with a different scale. You can also define a function to encapsulate all these instructions and simply call it inside update. The result will be exactly the same. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.